Is there life after death? While some people turn to religion for answers, others are looking right here in Michigan. More and more people are being cryogenically frozen here in hopes of one day getting a second chance at life. Now it sounds like science fiction, but reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson says it could change the future of medical science. You can freeze your eggs or sperm to thaw and use at a later date just about anywhere, but there's only three places in the world you can freeze your entire body with any hopes of using it again. Russia, Arizona, and Clinton Township, Michigan. It's been a plot device used in television shows for decades. The crew discovers frozen survivors from the 20th century. They're people. They're people. What the hell is this place? Fiction is closer to real life than you may think. There's seven people in this one and ten in this one. At the Cryonics Institute in Clinton Township, the nitrogen-filled tanks don't have windows, only photos provide a glimpse of the patients cryogenically preserved inside, hoping one day to be revived and restored to good health. Forever isn't necessarily the goal. The goal is longer. For believers in cryonics, death isn't permanent, just an illness waiting for a cure. There's so many things that I, I'd like to do with my life, and, and life is really short. That's one reason financial planner Joe Kowalski of Berkeley wants to give cryonics a shot. I will be frozen, um, at least temporarily is the hope. Interest in cryonics is steadily growing. We have a lot of people in their 20s that are signing up.